Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be a new one in my declutter series and we are kicking off a little mini series within the series of working on my lip products. So first up is going to be all of my lip liners. What happened here? Um, I'm not sure how I've accumulated so many lip liners. A few years ago, I didn't even wear lip liner. I didn't understand lip liner. And here we are. And the sad thing about this pile is I wear the same probably four lip liners over and over and over again. So we're gonna have to do some decluttering today. Let's get started. Okay, so like I said, I wear the same lip liners over and over. And also, if you can't tell by looking at this pile, there's a lot of really similar shades in here. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do some work on this one. I'm trying to decide, I was thinking about like maybe swatching it by you know, like, oh, nudes against nudes and pink nudes against pink nudes, but that's that's pretty much everything in here. <clears throat> so uh, let me see, let me start with like our darker colors maybe, and I'm just curious to see how many I even have of what's not like nude or pink nude. Let me just, let me just grab out a couple here. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and start with these six. These look to be in more of like the red or maybe like a deeper category. Okay, so here are some swatches. So starting at the top, we have Mac Chicory, and then also Brick. In the middle, we have Ofra's Maya. And then we have from Lawless, we have Honey, and then Coco. This here is from Il Maquillage in collaboration with Carly Bible. That shade is called Ablaze. And then lastly, we have Color Pop in Petal Please. So I would like to keep one red lip liner I don't wear red lips all that often, but when I do, I would prefer to line my lips first. And I think out of these reds, I'm actually really feeling on Brick from MAC. And I do like a MAC lip liners. So I'm gonna put Brick in the Keep pile. I'm gonna declutter the one from Carly Bible and Il Maquillage. I do like these lip liners, but this red, it's a little bit too like, what word am I trying to say? It's just, it's not the type of red that I think that I would wear a lot. So that one is gonna go in the declutter pile. Between the ones from Lala's, these are Forget the Filler Definer Liners. I'm remembering how much I like these. The shades to me are all just a little bit dark. Like I wish there was more nudes or pink nudes in this collection. So these are these two right here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these actually. And I wanna see if I can get some more use out of them. I'm going to declutter the other one from MAC in Chicory. I am gonna declutter the one from Ofra in Maya just cause again, I don't think I need to keep a lot of reds. And then also um, from ColourPop. I mean, I have a lot from ColourPop. I like that brown. I thought it was gonna be more red kind of looking at the, like the end cap here. Like I thought it was gonna be a little bit more on the red side but that's like a pretty brown nude. And I have some other ones in my collection that I use more. I like ColourPop lip liners but I have a lot of them. So that one's gonna go in my declutter pile also. I'm gonna swatch a few that I don't use all that often. They're a little bit more in the pink category. So I have a couple here from KKW Beauty, Persona, another one from Lawless, and then Koki Beauty. So uh, we're starting right here with KKW Beauty. We have 90 Style and then Nude Zero. And then we have from Persona, Almond and Dusk. This is Lawless Beauty Pink Sand. And the last one here is from Koki Cosmetics and that one is in pink mauve. All right, so looking at these, the Nude Zero from KKW Beauty, I know that I can declutter. It's super light on me. It really it doesn't show up. Also the one from Koki, I like the formula, but this shade of pink, I'm just not gonna wear a ton. So I know KKW Beauty and Koki, that, those are gonna be decluttered. Also Pink Sand from Lawless. Like I said, I like the Lawless lip liners. They're very creamy. Even just swatching them, you can tell they're more creamy. They're not as much of a matte lip liner, which sometimes I do like a little bit more of a matte lip liner and sometimes I wear lip liners by themselves, but I really do like the formula. But again, I don't wear pink lips all that much. I'm definitely more nude, brown nude, pink nude, not just like straight pink. So I'm gonna declutter that one from Lawless. I'm gonna keep one from Persona and I'm gonna keep the one in Almond that's again, a little bit more on that nude side. So I'm gonna keep Almond and Declutter Dusk. And then from KKW Beauty, again, this one is a little bit more on that nude side in 90s style and it's a mini. 
I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. All right, next up I have some indie brands. So we have from Christian Odette. This was a collaboration with Mel Thompson and Kitten. M Cosmetics, also in Kitten. I have two from Il Maquillage, both in collaboration with Carly Bible. AI, and then also, I think this other one is in Luna. From Juvia's Place 2021, and from Nabla Cosmetics, uh, Nude number two. So here are the swatches. Christian Odette, M Cosmetics, uh, we have the two from Il Maquillage, Juvia's Place, and Nabla. All right. Hmm. I know that I'm going to keep the one from Christian Odette. This was in collaboration with Mel Thompson. Um, she was a friend of mine. She passed away recently. I have a bunch of her collaborations that she did. So definitely going to be holding on to Kitten. Also same with M Cosmetics. I just recently started trying out the brand, and I do like the lip liner. So I'm going to keep that one. And then from Il Maquillage, I'm gonna uh, declutter the deeper brown. I don't wear that shade all that much. Um, so the one in Luna, I'm going to declutter and I'm gonna keep the one in AI from the Carly Bible collab. And then from Juvia's Place and Nabla, we have Juvia's Place and then also Nabla. I think I'm actually gonna declutter the one from Juvia's Place. I purchased it myself from Ulta and I just was kind of curious to try it, but I just really don't reach for it all that much. And I like the shade and the Nabla a little bit more. So I'm gonna declutter Juvia's, I'm gonna keep Nabla. I'm already keeping more lip liners than I think I had planned to want to keep. This might be one of those where at the end I kind of look again and I'm like, do I really need to keep all these? Cause like I said, I really wear like the same four or five over and over again, but uh, Lip liners have recently become a weakness of mine. I don't I don't really know what happened there. <laughs> Next up is some more that I don't use all that often. So from MACA Cosmetics, I have Boldly Bare and then also Soar. From Vive, we have Velvet Sands from Patrick Ta. She's so proud. Then we have, I just have to keep glancing at them. From Kylie Cosmetics, we have Candy K, Huda Beauty, that is Trendsetter. And then lastly, we have Ofra in Wine. So I'm gonna declutter Boldly Bare from MAC. That one is just, I don't wear that shade all that often. Uh, Candy K from Kylie Cosmetics. I had, like, this was like the first launch that they did. I've had it for a long time. I didn't mind it, but not a favorite. So I'm gonna declutter that one. Also, the Huda Beauty Trendsetter. Um, have this one for a really long time, like one of the first products I bought from Huda Beauty. Not a favorite shade anymore, so I'm gonna declutter that one. Also, Wine from Ofra, just not a shade I'm gonna wear a ton, so I'm gonna declutter that one. Uh, from Vive, I don't wear it all that often, but I would like to try it out some more. This is Jamie Genevieve's line and one of the few products that I have from the brand. I also have a lipstick. So I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna to try to get some more use out of it. I'm filming a chopping block, I think today, to do an update, and I'm like, since doing these declutters, there's quite a few products that I know that I wanna put into the next chopping block video. From Patrick Ta, I'm really bummed that I did not like this lip liner. Like, I keep looking at it, because I'm like, I kinda of wanna give it a second chance. But Patrick Ta just seems to be a very hit or miss brand for me. I either really like the products, or I really don't like the products. And, you know, I can pass this on to someone else who's going to use it. It's a pretty shade, I just, I. I just don't love it, I just don't reach for it. So I'm gonna declutter that one. And then we have Soar from MAC. It's a nice pink, but I wear Whirl so much more. So I was initially thinking of holding on to it, but like I said, I'm holding on to too many lip liners already. So I'm also gonna declutter Soar. All right, next up, some more that I don't use a whole lot. Uh, from Milani, we have O2 Natural. Then from Ofra, we have Mauve, Chestnut, and then Spicy. From Christian Odette, this is another one with Mel Thompson. This one is in Smooches. And then lastly here, we have a new one to me. This is Makeup by Mario. This one's a little bit confusing because the actual product says Daniel for the shade name, but online it says Danielle. <laughs> so I'm like, uh... Okay, uh, but this one is pretty new to me. I still have to review it, so I will be keeping that one. With Mel Thompson, Smooches, definitely gonna be keeping that one. Smooches and Kitten, I like to um, kind of use together on my lips, because Smooches is a little dark for me, Kitten's a little light, but when I mix them together, it's really beautiful. I'm gonna declutter the three from Ofra. I just don't really wear these shades a ton. Spicy used to be a favorite of mine. I used to wear that shade all over my lips quite a bit, but again, I've had these for many, many years now, so. I'm gonna declutter that one. And from Milani, I like this formula. And looking at the swatch, I'm like, I should like this more. But every time I put this on my lips, I'm like, ah, it's just, it's a little bit off shade-wise for me. I don't know why that is. But nice formula. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. All right, then I have my collection from ColourPop. So I really like the ColourPop lip liners. I've recommended these for a long time. They're affordable, they're really nice, they're very creamy, long wearing. Uh, so the different shades that I have, we have Lumiere, which was a collab with Kathleen Lights. Then we have, let's see if I'm gonna be able to remember these. 
We have Field Day, then we have So Happy right here. We have Cool BFF, Ashton, Little One, and then Beeper. So Beeper is this little tiny little guy, but I love Beeper. I loved the liquid lipstick. I love the lip liner. You know what? I just had to go and sharpen it so I could swatch it for this video, but I wear it. <laughs> I'm going to keep wearing it until I can't wear it anymore. Uh, Lumiere, I am going to declutter. Um, it's just a little bit more pink than I normally tend to wear. So I know I'm going to declutter that one. Also, Field Day and So Happy. Those are two that just when I wear them, I'm like, eh, I don't really love how this is looking on me. So going to declutter those two. Ashton is a favorite of mine. I love this more cool tone shade. Cool BFF, I do like, but it's almost too cool on my lips. When I wear it, it kind of gives me that like dead looking you know what you know what i'm saying there so i don't really love that one and then same with a little one it's just almost a little bit too light for me so i'm gonna declutter that one all right from carly bible and il maquillage we have this is the shade bible and i want to actually compare that to the shade ai because i think i only want to keep one of these so you know, I'm going to go ahead and keep Bible and then I'm going to declutter AI. So yes, that's what we're going to do there. And then from Natasha Denona, this one is in the shade Dana. This is in Dana. It's a little bit of a darker nude, but I still really like the formula. It's really nice and creamy. And um, I, ha I have, don't think I've kept a, a lot that are like that really deep dark nude, which, you know, every once in a while, especially as we get into fall, winter. So I'm going to keep that one. So from Pat McGrath, this is the contour lip liner. I've really enjoyed this one for a long time. I've recommended it a lot. Definitely going to be keeping that one. Uh, MAC Whirl, I wear this all of the time. I've mentioned before in videos when I wear this one, especially with the Huda Silk Balm, so many people compliment me, but Whirl, just another favorite for a really long time. And then we have my Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite lip liners. Uh, these are just the ones that I wear the most and recommend a ton. So for the swatches, we have the classic Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk 2 Medium, Iconic Nude, and then also Love Trap. Iconic Nude is an absolute favorite of mine. It is my most worn lip liner. I keep thinking about buying another one as a backup, but I still have plenty of product left, but I will repurchase this lip liner. So definitely keeping that one. I, you know, I was going back and forth on keeping Pillow Talk or Pillow Talk 2. I know I'm keeping Love Trap. Love Trap is a newer one to me and I wear it all the time. I think that's great. Regular Pillow Talk, I sometimes feel like it's just a little too pink on me. The Pillow Talk 2, I think sometimes is a little bit too dark on me. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep Pillow Talk just because it's like kind of that classic shade and it's pretty. Pillow Talk 2, I really don't wear all that much. So even though it pains me to declutter a Charlotte, I can also pass it on to someone and hopefully get them addicted to Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. <laughs> How about that? So, okay, let me pull things out because we might make a few changes, but let me let me see how I did. All right, so this is what we got going on. The keep pile, we had 20. The declutter pile was 27. And I was looking it over and I wanted to hone in on my ones from Lawless because like I said, I, I don't wear the ones from Lawless all that much. So I was wondering if I really needed to keep two. Hope everyone's enjoying this vein show. So we had Coco and then Rose Honey. I'm going to keep Rose Honey and declutter Coco. Yeah, I think that... I think that will make more sense. And then other than that, I feel really good. So we have keeping 19 and decluttering 28. That is my final answer. That is what we are doing. That is my lip liner declutter. 19 is still a lot of lip liners. I get that. Um, but there is a few that I'm gonna put in that chopping block video and see if I do want to keep around. But I feel good about this. I feel good about this declutter. I feel a lot happier with 19 lip liners versus whatever 19 plus 28 is because we all know that I can't do math. So that is it. That's it for today's declutter. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, would you rather see regular lipsticks next week or liquid lipsticks or lip glosses? We still have three more categories of lips to do. So let me know what you'd like to see next in the lip category. Other than that, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.